And that's the last time I tried to tell a gopher how to have sex. You know, teaching gophers the bees and the butter and stuff, you know. It's, Guess what, motherfuckers? We're back again, bitch. Back again. The boys are back. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Guess what, motherfuckers? What? I'm putting on the special shit. Oh, dude, you guys are getting double fucked up. <laughs> You guys think you're cool? He's coming with the heat today. Double. You guys think you're fucking shades. cool? <laughs> sun never sets on a badass. My future's so bright. You'll never see, see the sunset on my future. You're double shaded. Yeah. Throwing so much shade. S- so much shade right now. You don't even have wow. sunglasses on. I don't. I just have nerd glasses. Pretty cool fucking hat, too. Steelers. Yeah, I got this from a guy. Yeah, I got it from a guy as well. Yeah. That's the guy who gave it to me, but he got it from some other guy. Welcome to Lava Slug Podcast. Come one, come all. We're here. We're here with your host, Michael Kidd. And? I'm Kale. Kale. It's Kale. Hey. I was watching other people's podcasts, and they had interesting things to say, so I feel like that's what we're missing. What's, uh, what's one interesting thing that they're saying that we're not? Um... So, pow, pow, pow. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Cause like the thing is, man, like most of the ones that people are watching are very baity. It's it's a lot of bait. Material. A lot of clickbait, yeah. And a lot of the questions are are questions that aren't going to be common ground questions. Yeah. Like, men and women see a lot of things differently. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, a lot of these topics that you're seeing that are the quote-unquote bestsellers. Oh, yeah. It's all it's all clicky shit. And it's they have a crew of people that kind of come up with shit for them, or they didn't really... Like, all these celebrities hop on, get a podcast, and then they're fucking yeah. doing well. They have a $10,000, $20,000, well, $30,000 setup. I don't mean to be disparaging, but a lot of the, the ones that are, you know, men versus women... The m- are popular. Well, it's either the women usually bring on men that are idiots or trash, and then they just sit there and outsmart them, or oh. the men will bring on women that are not exactly of worth. So that's all we need to do is just bring in stupid women and men and just make fun of them? But I don't, I don't want to do that. Neither do I. That sounds fucking stupid. That sounds mean, man. Really mean. Like, and I've, I, I, that's the one thing that, like, I've gathered from both sides of it. It's like, they literally just get people in there and corner them. Yeah, it seems like that. And it's, it's a lot of dumb shit. It's like, I don't... Why the fuck are we talking about a lot of that stuff? Mm-hmm. Like... Yeah, it's tired. It sounds like all of that stuff is stuff that you should talk about with your partner. You know what I mean? It's not It's not shit that you need to announce to the world. It's like making it seem like all women have this stipulus of well, you need to be all these it, unrealistic rules, which yeah. women kind of do have these standards, but usually but that's they find all, somebody they actually like. It, those things kind of go out the all, window. It's not new that women have these high standards. They've like, always had high it, standards. It's always been a thing. Nice, drop down to my level. <laughs> We're like, that's never been like an issue, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? But now it's to a point where, you know, everybody has to be equal, and it's like we're we're not. No. We're 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 not. We're not equal. Yeah, men are better. That's not what I'm saying. Woman of the year, man. Women and men Best are better. Women MMA fighter at men. different things. Men are good at everything. Except for listening. Like, I'm not listening to you right now. See? <laughs> See? We're better at being dicks. Because we have one. But men and women have our specific differences because we need each other. Mm. We compliment each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? Women are more apt as far as in intellect. Yeah. And, like, puzzles and shit like that. Like, they're more... Precision and precise and detail oriented and dot to dot kind of shit. Mm. You know, men are more prone to action. You know, I mean, just jump, you know, off a dime. Um, yeah, we, we like doing that kind of stuff. Some men. 
M- yeah, yeah. Right. It, it's There's always thing. outliers. Same thing with women. You know what I mean? Some women aren't motherly or maternal, you know, mm-hmm. in nature or nurturing. You know what I mean? So it it goes both ways. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of these, a lot of these podcasts and shows and shorts and shit that you see now that are super popular and prominent, it's all just hateful diatribe between you know the sexes. Yeah, it's annoying. Um, I've been watching the Russell Brand podcast. The guy's fucking awesome. He's a good guy, but he's got a lot. He's got a whole fucking staff working on that thing. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's, it's His latest uh, one I saw, they did a back scene. Like they looked back, and he's like ten people back there on different computers working all sorts of shit. I'm like, God damn, how am I supposed to compete? Yeah. I Look, mean, that's that's what it is, though. Maybe someday. I feel like if we just stay on this gravy train or that gravy train, stay on the same like. I mean, pattern. Joe Rogan, same thing with him. I mean, he's got an entire fucking studio. Oh yeah. But the thing with Joe Rogan is he started a podcast before it was popular. Yeah. So. But I'm saying it's blossomed into that, though. Yeah. It's to where it's, he's a whole fucking, he's a whole station. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he is. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Sorry. It's crazy. Fuck the guy. No, I'm just jealous. Um, anyway, so uh, a bit of information. Um, Splenda mm-hmm. is now, uh, it's genotoxic. So. What? Um, Elaborate. The news, uh, another um, dietary food supplement to replace sugar okay. is called uh, sucralose, and sucralose is in Splenda, and lots of other things, um, energy drinks, all sorts of shit. Well, apparently it's genotoxic, which means it splits apart your DNA. So this is new so it news. Unravels your it runs out. Yeah, it makes your whatever proteins stick your DNA together, your chunks of protein that stick your DNA together. It unravels those. So, so you then it just be, start to become an an- anamorphous blob an, or um, something? Yeah, amorphous blob. Yeah, well you would become one of those. So it doesn't really, what? I mean, it may prevent some sort of diabetes, I guess, from not being sugar, but it's still, yeah. Don't Boys and girls, don't eat anything that's unnatural. Try to keep anything that uh, has a long terrifying. word you can't pronounce out of your fucking body. Do you realize how many old people... Are people was, swear to that dude, kind of when stuff? When I was serving or managing restaurants, the amount of old people that would piss and moan if I didn't have Splenda. Yeah. Like. Or wait, uh, uh, um, aspartame is another. Yeah, Diet Coke. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know you can overdose on. Aspartame. Aspartame. Yep. That's fucking crazy. You can overdose on it. Yeah. So it, if you just sit there and just kick back a whole fucking twenty four rack of diet like Coke. Like two two liters of Diet Coke, Jesus you could Christ. go into some sort of overdose. That's fucking terrifying. Uh-huh. Yeah. So all these fake sugars seem to be worse than just fucking sugar, regular ass sugar. You get from a plant. Man. Eat everything in moderation as well. I think the, the basis of health should be pretty simple. It's just... Yeah, man. Eat whatever you want, but in moderation. Yeah. Like, don't... You know you know, McDonald's is bad for you. Yeah. You can feel that it's bad don't for you. eat it every single fucking day. Yeah, you eat fruit every day. You start like feeling bad day. eating fruit. Stop eating fruit for a little bit. Yeah. Your body will tell you what you want. Throw you in a salad every once in a while. Yeah, the fitness industry and the health put industry is so oversaturated. Put, put some salmon on it. Yeah, something. You're, you'll crave what minerals and, yeah. and nutrients you want. If you're craving salmon for some reason, there's something in salmon that your body needs. Yeah. Right? But if it's craving a drug, like sugar is a, a drug or anything like that, it'll crave that for the dopamine, the serotonin oh, or whatever. That's what fast food becomes. You oh, yeah. Know, you crave those hollow calories and shit. I hear there's, um, in food. cheese, there is... Um, I want to say um, an opioid. Sawdust? Cheese has an opioid. Yeah, and sawdust. <laughs> Besides the mold, yeah. good cheese is, is moldy and filled with maggots. Up, man. People, so people would give me shit all the fucking time because I hate blue cheese. I fucking, oh, it's gross. It's disgusting. It's moldy. It's moldy cheese. And people just dog me. They're like, oh, you have no taste. And I'm like, bitch, suck a fat dick. It's rotten I have, food. I have amazing taste when it comes to food. That's trash. Blue cheese, all y'all out there, 
Suck a dick. Mm -hmm. Blue cheese is trash. It's gross. Fucking gross. It's moldy cheese. And cheese in general is moldy milk. Yeah. It's just dude, bad it's milk. Here and it's like cottage. I, I've, had, I've eaten cottage cheese my whole life. Yeah. It's gross. Look at you it. You think about it? You yeah. Think about the, the it's curdled milk. Of making it? Yes. Thank you. You get a fucking gallon of milk that's curdled. And get you it won't spoon. touch it. You won't touch it. Y yeah. Guaranteed. Nobody will touch it. But if you stir it up enough and it makes curds, now it's cottage cheese. Yeah, man. It's fucking nuts. Call it cottage cheese for a reason. From the cottages of your mom's fucking vestibule. Oh, God. Don't ruin it like that. I used to put, uh, I would always put uh, sugar on cottage cheese. Ooh, why? I I did eat cottage cheese back in the day. I'd put either sugar on it or I'd put pepper on it. Um, I don't know. Midwestern thing, maybe? Maybe. Did you ever put uh, peanut butter in your uh, chili? We do like peanut butter on like white bread mm -mm. and dip it in the chili. No. Oh, dude, it's fucking amazing. For anyone out there, Ooh. get some some Midwest chili. Ever put put some peanut butter in it? Yeah. It's it's that savory meat, sweet and salty. It's it's awesome. Is it? Chili Nelson. You get, you um, could put make some peanut fucking butter chili, chili Nelson chili. Yeah. Oh, dude. With peanut butter on it, something, dude. Now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fucking. Anyway. Um, I like ever that. put ranch on pizza? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, Chicken that's bacon pretty good. Ranch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I used to work at Bob Murphy's uh, in high school. And, man, I'd get 50% off everything there. Yeah. And they had these uh, one pound uh, cookie dough, like raw cookie dough tubs. I'd, I'd get one of those just about every single day. Nice. And I'd eat that cocksucker all day at work. Nice, pound Papa of, Murphy's, Jesus pound Christ. Of, pound of cookie dough at 17 years old. Just smashing that shit. Oh, man, it was fun. I'd make double-decker stuffed pizzas and take them home. What about... Oh, I got some news. Hmm. Guess what, motherfuckers? Me and Kale are going to fucking Survivor. Oh, yeah. We're auditioning, auditioning for Survivor up in Ohio yeah, yeah, on yeah. Thursday, Thursday and Friday. Hopefully so. uh, one of us... If we'll be there to sign autographs. Us. Yeah, that'd be cool as fuck, man. We end up on Survivor, both of us. That'd be dope. Like, then we can fist fight everyone on the show. Yeah. And just establish dominance. Raise our people. herd of chickens. Yeah, get a shit ton of chickens. So many fucking fight. chickens. God. Rats. 10,000 rats. We'll get all the rats. Gather up all the rats, make a life raft out of rats. Float off the island and go get more guns and supplies. Mm -hmm. Start a coup in that... Island territory. Oh, yeah. Overtake the entire system of islands. Boom. Yeah. We, I, we win. I hear a lot of times they're going to Fiji. I haven't watched Fiji Survivor in forever. sounds cool. Fiji. 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 But, yeah. Sick. The you whole The whole experience is fun, just doing an open casting what call. What do you get to take with you? Like... What on Survivor? I have yeah. no fucking clue. My my, I figure my odds are so far out that I won't need to ever worry about that. But this will be the second time I've auditioned. And you just stand in line. They Do give I you a number. Show them like my athletic abilities. Yeah, that would help. Yeah. Yeah. Be like, like my karate. Yeah. And shit. I just go in there and roundhouse kick one of the judges in yeah. the face as hard as I can. Kick the camera. Oh, dude. Bam. Break that cocksucker. $10,000 camera. $60,000 yeah. camera. Bam! Kick it out the window. They're screaming, what have you fucking done? I'm KO. I got muscles. I'm fucking survivor, dude. I survived. <laughs> I survived this audition. I survived this audition. Yeah. I survived diabetes. <laughs> I survived fucking I spirulina. Survived the fuck? better baldness. I, so I survived. Uh, I survived I'm before survive. the heat. I'm not going to give up. Boys, 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 boys. <laughs> <laughs> Just start raging the fuck out. Bye, 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 bye. You hear me in the other room banging on the door. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> you come in chucking tables and chairs. Chucking tables. I throw a fucking a cool bold, light bottle at you. Bam! It smashes over your head. Mode. Oh, God. <gasps> Assless chaps. <laughs> My cousin Dietrich and Bill show Just up. Just show up out of nowhere. nowhere. <laughs> fucking Josh. 
<laughs> already drunk. Boys, boys, boys. Boy, 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 Steal the camera. Try to sell it. We you sell it to buy crack. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing crack in the street. We miss our flight back. We just end up living on the streets of Cleveland. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Little Australia's crackheads are just like, fuck it. It's cold as fuck here. Jesus Christ. Boys, why did you do this? Boys, 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 boys. <laughs> just run around just people. Fucking it. Oh, we have no chill. <laughs> 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 Got him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Boys, 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 boys. It's <laughs> fucking out of nowhere. All, all the boys roll up. Everybody. Oh. It's like the Avengers when they unite. Yeah. They just show up and just boom. Bam, out, out of portals and shit. Like, yeah. They pop up out of a manhole. Blah. <sighs> falls out of the sky. Just, fucking. Where the fuck did you? You didn't even have a parachute. Came from the sky. He's like bleeding, yeah. broken arms. Boys, boys, boys. <laughs> That's originally why we need to steal the camera to get drugs, because he was in pain. We didn't have health insurance. We know he's gonna die here if we don't go get him. Yeah, we gotta get him some crack or something, some opiate somehow, because we can't we can't get legitimate opiates because we don't have health insurance. Yeah, nobody. We're all over the age of thirty, and nobody has health. Nobody has health insurance or a savings account. <laughs> oh, we're in trouble, boys. We're gonna need a bigger. We're in trouble, boys. We're gonna need a bigger street. <laughs> Just what fucking like. Oh God. Yeah, the plan. I guess the new plan after if we don't get Survivor is either suicide or going to move to uh, <laughs> Oakland or not Oakland, uh, um, Seattle. Seattle and live on the streets. Yeah, and just be it's uh, free like street guys. We can move to L.A. and live on the streets. They give you like six hundred bucks a month. Awesome, dude! I can buy a gun with that. Yeah. Yeah. Game over. It's easy. Yeah, just start mobbing everybody there. Yeah, doing drugs. Drugs, dude! All the drugs. You ever see a crackhead never have crack? Nope. nope. They do the hustle. same with your, do the same with your dreams. Yeah. They get up every day and they figure out a way to find some fucking crack. Get some money, get They'll some crack. They'll suck a dick. They'll suck a fat dick. They'll suck ten dicks. Fat dick if Friday. Get him some fucking crack. So what are you doing? They'll suck more dick than an electrician. Yeah. Uh, it, especially if they see the your penis is tattooed, Klein. Klein, is this Klein on your dick? Oh, dude, that electrician's right. gonna suck it. They'll suck it right off. <laughs> That's the sound of them. They, they won't suck your dick if your dick is in the shape of a broom or anything that would clean anything up. Oh, uh, true. Yeah. yeah. Look, electrician it. boys. But anyway, what's your tactic for your audition? Uh, I'm probably just going to go in there and... You'll probably be three or four beers deep by the time you actually go up in there. True. Uh, I'll probably end up exposing my, my brown eye at some point. I'll guarantee uh, that you I get just want to establish up front that I'm willing to take it there. More, more uh, than likely, the news is going to be there, too. The local news stations are there, like, interviewing random people. So they'll see it. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, it'll become, like, a huge thing. And so they'll be like, oh, man, we have to have the brown eye guy on here. Brown eye boys. Um, yeah, so they'll bring me on. And the first couple of days, I won't do anything. Mm-hmm. But then out of nowhere, you know, while we're, like, voting off the first person, I'll run up in front of the camera. And brown eye. Brown you know, it's not live, <laughs> right? <laughs> they'll just cut it out. Hey, they, they can't. I'll, I'll fight that to be in there. I feel like they're going to try to look for somebody who's going to stir up a lot as much drama as possible. So I'm just going to be like, yeah, I'm Mike, I'm a Leo, I'm never wrong. And just be like, and I'm great at everything and I've never been wrong. I'm And I will literally all of you at everything. Yeah, shut your fucking mouth, put me on camera. I'm fucking in, you're fucking out. Get the fuck out of my chair. I always find myself in the middle of some sort of drama. I can't help it. It's just it's just my fucking sign. Yeah, it's just the way I am, you know? It's the way I am. If you don't like it, you can ask my D. Yeah, if you don't like it, you can ask That's the my D. Out of that and by the way, uh, to all the producers, I lick toes. So. Yeah, dude. Toe licker. <laughs> I will lick toes to be on Survivor. Yeah. I uh, won't. That's a lie. I like your strategy. Uh, it's Licking very bold. toes? Uh, I mean, I'm not a toe guy. I fucking hate feet, but. To be on Survivor? To be on chain? Survivor? Uh, you know, like I said, I'm... I think you make two grand a day or something. Really? Mm-hmm. 
Like on the show? On the show. It's 60 days or something like that. Two grand a day? So if you're on it, yeah. Pretty sure. That's some good fucking money. Mm-hmm. If you're on it till the end, 120000 I could also be wrong, but I think that's what Derek told me. Because he was, the first time I went, my buddy Derek was the the one that really wanted to go. Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I didn't have any. I just went with nothing. I told him that I was a virgin. I was a survivor virgin. <laughs> Like, I'd never cast it before, so I was a virgin. In that. I fuck bitches, but <laughs> I was a virgin for casting. I'll tell them that I've never had sex before and be like, yeah, I, I wanted to do this uh, and get laid yeah. in a foreign country. Yeah. Just be we super godly. I think we have to think up characters. Yeah, I need a character. Yeah. I could be uh, a born-again alcoholic. Oh, like you never quit. Yeah. I don't quit. Like now I'm an alcoholic again. Ah, oh, damn. Born again. You land? Like, where's the beer? Yeah. I thought this was an island. Where's the rum? Like, uh, you're surviving. I'm going to fucking die. <laughs> I get there and instantly I just start drinking my own pee. And they're like, what are you doing? It's like, I'm surviving. I'm surviving. I'm on alcohol in my damn. piss. <laughs> you just make this tube? Yeah. <laughs> You're stuck in your own dick. Oh, God. <laughs> I need more beer. Where's the beer at? Where is it? I Give me the beer. Stash in my backpack. Stash. My camel pack is actually just Jack Daniels. Yeah. It's just strapped up. Oh, yeah. You break the bottle. Like some, some chick on there is just like, oh, I think we should vote Cal out. You should. <laughs> Come on, bitch. What's wrong with <laughs> you? You doggy bitch. You want to send me out of here? You I'll send you out in a fucking, fucking casket. <laughs> yeah, have it. We ride. Boys, 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 boys. boys, 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 boys. Ever. I don't know who shit and shit with seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> and then once again, the boys. And Bill come out of the woods. Fuck the old glass dick. He's out of nowhere. <laughs> Light the <laughs> crack. Ah, where's the cameras? <laughs> they run through, steal all the cameras. They go back to the ocean. <laughs> what the what fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we need that crack money. They just go crab walking into the fucking water. <laughs> the cameras are ruined. <laughs> so they just walk right into the water with these fucking cameras. <laughs> They're trying to solve for crack. <laughs> you, can, you guys have such fucking... So many powers, you can get so many places. Why are you, why are you trying to steal cameras? Why are you doing this? You could have stole cameras anywhere. You literally walked <laughs> on the seafloor. You came here to do that? Yeah. You, you could have literally done anything. Even, they weren't even trying to help. They were trying, it's, just <laughs> a, the, <laughs> it's just a consequence of their action. The call. They heard the yeah. call. <laughs> <laughs> they were already in the process of stealing so many cameras. <laughs> <laughs> they had to start beating an old lady up for her cameras. <laughs> they, they run off. They, they hear the call. Boys, 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 boys. And then they, <laughs> they go into like a go. berserker mode. Yeah. They <laughs> saw the cameras and they were like, ah, they're ours. We can sell them for they crack. They fucking just jog to the fucking ocean. <laughs> <laughs> a berserker full, mode. Full, full chimp mode. They're, they're all bricked up. <laughs> <laughs> berserker mode. <laughs> Boys, 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 boys. <laughs> Yelling as they go into the water. Yep. Yep. Um, the call of the boys. The call of the boys, boys, boys. Aliens. Oh, aliens? What's the government hiding? What are they trying uh, to fucking hide? Aliens aren't real. They might be, but all the normal stuff that's been happening, all this UFO stuff, I'm pretty sure it's fake. Take everybody's attention away from like the elections. Or all these boxes, box scandals. Trump's being indicted for all these boxes. Yep. Biden's got a bunch of boxes. They have uh, well, undercover. Like we about before the DNC pushing, you know, no primary. Did you hear that Biden? They have some like recordings of him and his son actually colluding with the, like uh, somebody I'm not for five, ten million dollars. But they have it on like they've got it recorded. I'm not surprised anymore, man. Yeah. Like like I said, all these fuckers are so detached from reality they mm-hmm. think they can just do whatever the fuck they want. And they usually can. Yeah. Like what's if Biden got arrested for anything major, like diddling kids or something, what's he gonna go to jail for? He's the president now. He's the president. He can, He's not gonna go to jail. He's got Secret Service. Yeah. He can pardon himself. Yeah, he can pardon himself. Yeah. And yeah, <laughs> exactly. And even if he went to jail, he's only got like four four years to left uh, left to live. Like he's in his eighties. 
And he's about to be 80. Yeah, yeah so he's not going to be... I just, that's been my biggest knock on, like, presidents, man, is, like, you keep, we, we as a society keep electing these geriatric fucks. And, like, man, I respect my elders. I do. They've lived life. They've been through shit, whatever. But the detachment yeah. at the top is oh, yeah. so fucking unreal, dude. When's and the last time we had a 35-year-old president? When was the last time we had one that was 40? Under, under 60. Yeah, 40 or 50. Obama was the youngest, and I think he was 48 when he took office or something. Damn. Like, I, I could be wrong. Like, I, my phone's dead if you want to Oh, see. yeah, true. I want to say he was 48. And again, I think he was the youngest. Yeah. I'm not saying that we have to have somebody. When was Obama? Oh, shit. I'm not saying we have to have somebody that's fucking 19. How old was 19. Obama when he was elected president? But maybe he was 47. Some, yeah, so maybe somebody within that realm who's bought a house in the last 20 years, who yeah. has worked a day job, who's been a part of society. That actually can read a teleprompter. Like, I wasn't huge on Pete Buttigieg, but the guy has been in society and been a part of, you know what I mean, been just a regular guy. Yeah. He's not been in politics for 40 years. Like, that was what was alluring about him, you know? Well, Pete Buttigieg, he was in, he was the Back transportation in manager in Indiana or something. Yeah. Uh, he's South a, Bend. He's a mayor. Too. Mayor of South Bend, yeah. yeah. South, if you've ever been to South Bend. Yeah. He's a shit town. But he was running for president uh, last time. and How did he become a mayor of a town in Indiana and then move to a, a presidential Pence was the governor. Yeah. He was and then became vice president. What's going on with Indiana? And all these people just jumping from Indiana to positions, larger positions of power? I don't know. I mean, we're seeing it. Because I could have been the mayor of fucking South Bend. We're seeing it with DeSantis right now. I mean. Well, that's Florida, Republican, though. I mean, the Republican Party, though, has kind of been trying to push him yeah. as, like, the next... Boy. But that's so, like, Florida as a state versus Indiana. I feel like Florida has more of an impact than Indiana oh, would. Right? Like, if you, you if I could see you being the governor of California or Texas or Florida or New York and having a straight shot to a president, president or vice yeah. president. But Indiana? That's yeah, like, that's that's like a mayor of a town in Nebraska yeah. becoming right. vice president. Like, right. what? Right. Like, you, where does your... Your your population that you ran was 10,000 yeah. people. Yeah, it, it doesn't show a lot. Yeah, I think I think um, the population of South Bend is probably only 100,000 people. Probably. Something around there. Yeah, it's a very small population. In Lafayette was 70,000 when I was there. So, yeah. South Bend's not much bigger. Yeah, I'd say like 100, 120 at the most. Yeah, it's a college town. It's got fucking Notre Dame. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, so, that, that's crazy. That's what I. That's what I think. I'm like, what's his uh, actual experience? Like, maybe yeah. if he became mayor of Indianapolis, I can see him going to a bigger. Well, and that's the thing is like you know with with Trump taking over, it was like okay, you know, kind of the same thing. You know, he's had a lot of businesses, but a lot of them yeah were bankrupt or illegal. You know, what I mean, so like. The the legitimacy for, like, resumes kind of goes out the window anymore, you yeah. know, because you've had one guy invalidate. As long as you can lie you in the right I mean? way, if you lie yeah. fast enough. Yeah, you've, you've got a guy that came in with no no political background whatsoever and just tore down that, that yeah. resume idea. And he you know used I mean? that inexperience as... A selling point. Yeah, he was like, "Yeah, I'm not a part of all this. I don't come." From yeah, this and then stuff. people love that, and, and that was smart. And but he's. I like, like. I like that. I like yeah. it. You know, what I mean, but it was the the way that he delivered his message. Very and, cocky. And the company he liked to keep uh, proved time and time again to just be nefarious people. Yeah, you know I mean the. But that's perfect for president, honestly. I mean, it sucks. Yeah. I mean. Nefarious people, guy, powerful people. Yeah, I mean, you got a guy in power, and everyone around him keeps dropping like flies and getting arrested or indicted, and 
mm-hmm. it's like if it stinks like shit it, <coughs> it probably is shit yeah just like this podcast which is <coughs> fucking over get the fuck out make sure you like and subscribe if you want to get some autographs from us yeah, we're dude. gonna be in put it in bay put, put it, it in your put face. in put in bay put in the butt put bay. it in your butt your mom's butt somebody's bay. butt is getting it put in yeah yo. like and subscribe follow us on patreon we don't have one eat yeah. shit and die we love you the door hit you on the way out motherfucker Look, my dean. Fuck out of my chair. I thought we fired you yesterday. Oh, you're fired. Get the fuck out of here.